All right, so I've got a uh, character mesh here with three different subtools, and the teeth have their own uh, layer for blend shapes, so they open and close. And then we've got a pretty good basic set of blend shapes here in the layer tool. So we've got the jaw open, we've got a smile, we've got a lot of stuff going on. So uh, I'm going to go into Z plugin. And then under here we have Maya blend shapes. Um, if you have extra tools that are there for projection from a DynaMesh to this cleaner version or whatever other options you might have out there, you can turn off those other tools and just export the visible only or the selected only. In this case, I want all my visible or all tools currently in the project to be sent over to Maya. Usually I also like to go to turn off all, so it's gonna reset everything to a nice kind of clean state. Uh, once that's done, I'm gonna hit exp export blend shapes. Uh, this also assumes that you've gone into uh, GoZ prior to this. You've configured your um, GoZ plugin to install to the correct version of Maya that you're using. Um, so this should sync up. You'll see it go through all the tools and the, uh, the tools layers, as I said, to uh, export those basically as blend shapes. So if you haven't gone into GoZ, um, you just have to make sure before you do this, go to uh, Preferences, GoZ, force path uh, or path to Maya, just make sure it's up to date and current. So this thing should be launching. So when you are back in Maya, you'll have um, this. This is actually kind of the older version of the blend shape tool. Um, I'll sort of show you the, the other version as well. Um, but basically you see the head, the main head here, and all its uh, blend shapes. So you've got you know the smile left, um, we've got the narrow, all that stuff that's been created, and then we've got the, the ones for the, the teeth that I have as well. Um, so if I just uh, hide this for a second, we'll see the teeth as well open and close. <laughs> now, just some uh, f notes about display preferences, things of that nature. Uh, a lot of times this sort of resolution of mesh, um, we want to actually see it smooth. So you can just click on this mesh and hit three to smooth it. If I hit one, we're going to go back to this faceted view. A lot of times I also just like to see this smooth anyway. So you can go to mesh display, soften edge. And then what we can do is if you have a, a nice, uh, the, the edge flow here isn't exactly great. This could be my eyeball placement, um, but uh, this was actually a downloaded mesh I should mention as well. So I'm going to try to find where the sort of edge of the lips are and if we've got a nice kind of border loop for those lips, I will sometimes actually go in and shift right click to go to the crease tool and then middle mouse click and drag to the right. So that way when we're um, sort of looking at this in object mode and you see the shading, um, oops, sorry. So again, if we're looking at the shading, this has to activate, uh, you have to activate number three in your keyboard. You get this little bit of extra kind of creasing that happens around that lip line, which can be nice. A lot of times it's nice to also do that around the edge uh, for the eyelids. But again, I, I want an eyelid loop that would have a consistent, uh, let's say, depth to it. So again, this might require that I probably move this eyeball over a bit, let's say. But that's a uh, same process, just selecting a loop, shift, right click, select crease, and then you can crease uh, those edges. Um, so that's just a few display things out of the way. Um, so again, even when I'm at uh, lowers display, just by going to mesh smooth, I can get a, a better look at that mesh. Now, one final setup before I get into keying uh, the blend shapes is that a lot of times, you know, the jaw of the head is disconnected from the, the teeth and gums opening and closing. So there's a little trick to this. I'm going to just uh, hide the teeth and gums for a second. I may also do the same display setup here. So I'll go to, um, just simply go to soften edge and then you can hit three to, to really smooth that out if you want. Um, <clears throat> so we've got the, the teeth on their own, teeth and gums, and we've got the, the blend shape, um, the main head with all its blend shapes. So what we want to do is actually go into Windows, General Editors, and then down in here, there's something called the Connection Editor. So what we actually want to do is when we fire off the, the head blend shape, I'll just minimize this, the head blend shape, we want it to at the same time open the teeth and gums by basically the same amount. So I'm going to go to the channel box on the right hand side, click on the blend shape uh, node, and then I want to select the jaw open. I'm going to right click and say select connection. Now with this floating connection editor open, again that's Windows, General Editors, Connection Editor. 
you're going to say reload the left target. And you'll see in here somewhere right about here, there'll be something called weights. So I'm going to open up the weights. And again, we, we want to just make sure we select the jaw open. And then I'll basically do the same process by selecting the teeth and gums. I'll go over to its blend shape node, select teeth open, right click and just make sure we go to select uh, connection. And then we can reload right. So that'll open up. I'm going to want to expand its weight and we should have teeth open. So I want to basically connect jaw open in the blend shape to, to teeth open. And I want to connect in this direction from left to right. So when I fire off the head, because the head is where you're going to do most of your animation work, uh, pretty much all of it for the facial expressions and lip sync, you want that to feed into. So the same amount will feed into the teeth open. So once I hit that right connection, it should be established. I'm going to hit close. You can now just simply test this out by going in to the blend shape tool, uh, finding your uh, jaw open. And I'm just going to slide this open a bit. So this should, I believe, open. Uh, my connection might be made actually the wrong way. Let me just see. Yeah, I've actually got it firing backwards. So uh, you'd have to be careful in which the order uh, you make these things. So it looks like it's actually being driven by the teeth instead. So to fix that, I'm going to just go back to the connection editor. So I'll uh, select that head again. Uh, select the blend shape. Select the jaw open. I'm going to reload that onto my right side. So again, wait, teeth open, head, blend shape, jaw open, reload this on the right. Yeah, I think I, had, I must have done these backwards. So I'll just simply go into jaw open, teeth open. Again, I want the jaw open to feed into the teeth open. So I'm going to set it to go from right to left. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I think I want to go this way. Let me just make sure that's correct. There. So you see this has turned yellow now. And now if we drive this head, we'll see that, um, that connection. Again, I think I'm still doing this backwards. <laughs> All right. So I realized there was an issue with what I was doing. When you look at the connection editor, you have to really check to see which direction things are going from. I'm typically used to things going from the left to the right. So usually what you want to do is when you have the uh, the head I typically have on the left. So when the jaw of the head opens, the teeth on the right will fire open as well. So I'm just going to redo that so we can see it properly. So grab that blend shape. And by the way, if you ever need to break the connection, you can always right click and just above select is break. So I'll select Make sure I reload that on the left, grab the teeth and jaw, and I believe they may or may not be connected here. So I'll go to select connection, reload on the right. And then we go to our weights, locate the jaw open, go to weights, teeth open, make the connection. So now this should, we can see now that the teeth are actually selected properly. There we go. So we get that correct uh, opening. Uh, next, I'll talk about keying everything, getting kind of a, a stress test done and an animation test done. Usually in the stress test, just to mention, you want a bit of overlap, especially in the mouth shapes and between the brows. We want a little bit of combination uh, between the blend shapes to see that they're working well together.